go. Ooh, that was super- oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Destroy the bridge, destroy the bridge! City of the South, I'm Double Drake, and today we are playing Red Alert 1. Red Alert 1 started out as an, an idea that what if we could change history by removing or removing some of the key players in World War II, such as um, maybe Stalin, um, even the Allies, but I guess the real focus is what if we removed Adolf Hitler from the equation. So this is where Red Alert 1 uh, started its uh, journey. Stop playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. So here you can see um, hinting to Albert Einstein, which in fact it, it should be or it is Albert Einstein. And he is actually planning, as you will see in a moment, to change history. Now there are several theories to what happened with Red Alert 1, but this I is the one... if it will be raining. This is the one that I understand the most, or I, I believe the most, because it's a little bit fun to believe. So if you play a bunch of Red Alert games, you would know that sound is from the chronosphere. And you can see uh, at Adolf Hitler, young Adolf, Adolf Hitler. Herr Hitler! Ja, was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Something about, um, he has, he has no time for this or something? Like, he, he has to go. So, yeah, by him touching at Adolf Hitler, he changed time, but it's not sure if Adolf Hitler disappeared. Now there are several theories what Did happened. Did you find him? Um, and which, which I believe the most what happened Hitler is... It's out of the way. Out of the way. Congratulations, Professor! So notice, With Hitler um, removed. Adolf Hitler, I mean, Albert Einstein is back in that timeline, but the scientists does not I know, know like, Adolf, Adolf Hitler exists or something. So, Sooner or later. Yeah, this is an epic. So what Albert Einstein did is, in my theory or my belief, he created two timelines now. His timeline, which Albert, I mean Adolf Hitler still exists, and Adolf Hitler in another timeline which does not exist, which is your Red Alert 1. Enjoy. Red Alert 1 was one of the few games where uh, it was one of my few first few games when I tried playing on a computer. When I first had a computer, um, my computer was super slow back then. I guess everybody's computers were slow. Uh, Pentium, uh, it's like 166 megahertz. Um, considering uh, modern computers are like, you know, at least one gig one gigahertz today. Even mobile phones. Anyway, um, and we're gonna try to play a few of the camp campaigns. We're just gonna play a normal because I don't want it to be too difficult. Um, there are some bugs in the game. Uh, this is an updated version, I think. And yeah, uh, I'm hoping the, the uh, 
the coverage of the video is fine. The quality may not be that good because it is an old game, like 1998 or something. Kind of old. But the, the, this is one of the first few games I tried to play. So we're going to play um, on normal and we're going to try the Allies um, mission first. Commander? It's the last transmission? Oh, 0900 hours. Since then, nothing. Perhaps Einstein escaped? Too much to hope for, General. He would have contacted us by now. This is classified. I know. I sent for her. General von Essling, she is a civilian. That's why I don't get killed. Commander, this is Tanya Adams, a professional volunteer. She will work with you on this mission. Somewhere inside this research center, the Soviets hold Albert Einstein. We need him back, immediately. Get Tanya inside, so she can get Einstein out. Once you have located him, bring him back to your drop-off point for immediate evacuation. Be careful. The base is heavily fortified, but not invincible. Their weakness is power. Black out the base and nothing will stop you. Good luck. Have arrived. Their weakness is power. Block out the base, and nothing will stop. Um, we're gonna increase the uh, scroll rate, so it's, yeah, I think it's a bit too fast. Um, let's put it here. So, what we're gonna do, and I think every. Like, it took me, I think, two days to figure it out. That's a Tesla coil right there. Um, it took me a few days to figure out because you want Tanya, which is, you know, we're here, you want her to go into the uh, uh, lab structure here, over here. But your, the thing is, Tanya, if you click on structures and stuff with Tanya, um, I'll show you in a bit, she will detonate the building. So these are rangers. We don't need a lot, to be honest. We just need a few. Um, we, we do need to... Um, get rid of the power because we don't want Tesla coils to because this this Tesla coil over here can actually um, hurt uh, the professor which is coming out from here so what we're gonna do we're gonna knock out the uh, power plant and just to be safe we're just gonna use our rangers here and if you're wondering why I'm micromanaging so much um, there is no attack ground button not like in but I'm gonna show you how Tanya attacks Tanya is really strong Oh my gosh. Yeah, so there isn't an attack button. We're just gonna use Tanya. Hopefully she doesn't get killed by the Tesla coil. So there we go. Power should be down, and just to prove it to you, I'm gonna put the Ranger near there, so the, the Tesla coil could easily have knocked out my um, Ranger vehicle right there. So by taking out these two guards in front, and by not putting Tanya in this build... Anyway, this, this is Einstein? Is it Einstein? So yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't be an episode of Triple Click without the microphone going bad. So yeah, these are some of the old games I used to play. Um, the, 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 these are allied uh, cruisers. So let's see if it sees right there. Yeah. Allied cruisers. I'm gonna try to destroy the structures of the Soviets who held Einstein. So now we're just gonna, you can actually just put Einstein inside, but just for fun we're gonna put them. Um, I think if you put like all the infantry in, like here, and you put them in here, and then the Chinook will like fly over there out of screen, I think you'll lose the game, so you won't do that. Um, it, again, it took me a while to figure this out, so really interesting uh, fact right there. Yeah, I was such a noob back then. Um, even tinkered around with the... Uh, Refinery over there with the refinery truck or the ore truck. If you played any railroad game, you would know what that is. Whoa, something go wrong? 
Hello? Is this gonna happen often? Okay. So, yeah, as you go along, like, several missions and stuff, um, you're gonna click these, and at, at times you're gonna have, like, two um, arrow thingies, which tells you that you can go either here or here. But Soviet for now... Soviet aggression has increased tenfold already. We don't have the manpower to fight Stalin's armies on every front. On every front? Commander! Commander! You did a fine job rescuing Einstein for us. Einstein? Now, we are counting on you again. Again? One of the passes we use for a supply route has been blocked by the Reds. The Reds? A convoy from the 434th is due through in a matter of hours. The supplies they carry are critical to our war efforts. Nikos, what we have in that area to work with? Not much. And time is against us. You will have to make do. Clear the pass so the convoy can get to safety. Their lives rest in your hands. Go! 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 You have to go! Mission timer initialized. Initialized. Reinforcements have arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. So what we're, um, as the, uh, not sure if that guy is a general, and infantry units suck here so much, is the micromanagement is just so bad, you know. Um, press X to spread the units, press G so that they can auto-attack, or, um, in the manual, red look manual, it's actually, um, we're gonna... Reinforcements have arrived. So those are attack dogs, those are really bad, so we need to get rid of them. You know what, I have no idea how to select, like, all the infantry, just the infantry, so you can see that didn't work at all. We're gonna use the rangers to scout ahead. Um, this is a neutral refinery. I'm not sure what that does, to be honest. I have, I have no idea. It's this day. You can actually, um, force attack the trees. It doesn't do anything that, you know. So here we go. So this is the medic. Medic heals, um, units and stuff. I'm hoping to build rangers, cause... Cause... Let me just put this refinery down. Now we're, gonna, we're gonna put a power plant in case you know where power is. It's over here, just like in um, World War II, I think. Now we're gonna put some de def defenses, defenses on our base because at some point in time, this map will expand in a later mission. So, um, whatever base we have now will be replayed. And a future, future, uh, future installment of Red Alert. So I kind of lost my words here. I'm kind of a bit nostalgic playing this game. So yeah. Um, you can run over like infantry and stuff. So if you want to do that, but uh, you can't do that with a ranger though. Heck. Affirmative, affirmative, acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. We're just gonna put a bunch of uh, pill boxes and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna need some infantry. We're not gonna build a whole lot of infantry, but we will need some. So this will be a sacrificial lamb. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Awaiting orders. Acknowledge. So yeah, um, we're gonna like put pill boxes and stuff because we're gonna get invaded. Um, Next game. Yes, Sandbags, not so useful. Oh, um, we're not. You know what? Let's go! Let's go! So we're gonna put a pillbox there because this map, part of the map, will expand. Um, if you press Alt, you can step on... Step on infantry. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. We're not gonna do that the entire time. True, true, true. Those attack dogs like instant kill if you play Red Alert 1. It's nice to spread out your units, especially if this guy's gonna be in guard mode, so that guy can. Again, a bunch of pill boxes, just so. Oh. Oh. Just gonna put the pill box over there. 
oops, oops, oops. We don't want it to be too close. My gosh, our micromanagement is just horrible in this game. I remember now. Oops. <laughs> Almost lost my, uh. Me there, my, uh. Entire army right there. He's probably gonna die. You know, he's not careful. Squad 1, move up! Squad 2, heal! Or medic, heal. I remember you can like F. Does it work? Yeah, it doesn't work apparently. So yeah, we're gonna put a bunch of pill boxes because they can get annoying and stuff. Sandbags don't do a lot of them. Um, doesn't really do a lot. Apparently we can't build the thingy just yet. It's because um, we're kind of early in the game, so the uh, technology will expand as you go along the missions. I probably won't do all the missions, but I'm just playing this for nostalgia sake. Squad 1, move up! Move, move, move! Kill them all! Oh crap, oh crap. <gasps> so yeah, you see- Oh no, oh no! Oh my goodness, it's gonna wipe out like half of like the entire army right there. We're gonna build some rocket soldiers because they do more against... Okay, we're gonna run because yeah, I suck at this game. <laughs> I haven't played this for a long time. It's really fun though. So that, that um, can't pass because... So you see pillboxes that are just a bunch of people just gonna shoot at um press T to heal and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whew, that... The heck? <gasps> the convoys here so fast. I barely reach like this area over here. But I'm sure they can get through. I think they'll only pass like here and here and there. So not a big deal. Or shouldn't be so much of a big deal. It's good that we have some defenses up, because next mission or something we're gonna have like trouble. And that, that time went fast. I'm not sure if. If you build more barracks, barracks, main barracks, if you build more of those. So um, those things got through, not a problem, Mission not a problem at all. That was good. That's, that was nostalgic right there. Okay, so it does that. I can't control that. Yeah, I can't control that. So now we have two options. I'm not sure which is which, but we're gonna select the bottom because I, I tend to select the top more. So we're gonna select the bottom. I think this is like a bridge destruction thing and you, you lead like a small army into the, uh, the map. Commander, intelligent recon shows heavy Soviet movement in your area. Nearby bridges are key to Soviet advancement. Destroy all bridges. Tanya will assist. Keep her alive at all costs. Confirmation code 1612 transmission ends. So yeah, this is one, another one of those um, Tanya missions. And I think you do have that... <laughs> you can actually blow that up. But... I'm not sure if I should have. Come on, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh yeah. I have no idea what that does. And I think there were reinforcements in that house. Okay, here we go. So this is micromanagement in Red Alert. Oops. 
So we're gonna hide here. I I, I, I could easily take him out. So let me let me do it. So there. So um, some mistakes you can do in Red Alert is like destroy this bridge without um, looking at the map. Because if you destroy that bridge immediately, then you could be in a dead end. So we don't want to do that too fast. So we're gonna scout here. I forgot what's over here. I do have a medic. That medic will be. Oh, I could use those engineers over there. I forgot how to rescue them though. So let's see. There we go. I think I have to go here, but I can't reach. Ooh. So that's what the medic for. <laughs> In case we make a mistake, and we made a mistake there. I think this is an allied uh, ranger, or this should be an allied rescue rescuable. Okay, I guess not. I think if we destroy this church, we get like the healing thing. Nope. Yeah, we have to destroy that bridge eventually, and I forgot how. So. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Okay. What the heck are you gonna do, buddy? I have no idea what that thing's gonna do. Oh. Interesting. The thing is. Huh. Yeah, they're gonna kill those guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't see the entire thing. I just realized you can't see the entire thing. <laughs> that's my bad. Man, yeah, that's not not important stuff up there anyway. Yeah, if that if this guy moves, he's dead. Hmm. I think. And if I go here and then I go there, they're gonna kill him anyway, so... Let's see, how do I do this? Ta-ting! Yeah, we can't deal with the tanks, so... This is gonna hurt so bad. The medics should stay a little farther away from the action. Here we go. So, hoping this works. Hey, that went very smoothly. All formative. So we can't deal with those uh, flamethrowers over there, because we'd be dead. Do I have to circle back though? Like, circle back here? I'm guessing not. I think it's safe enough to go here. It's at this point that I save, because I might lose my units and stuff, but I think we're old enough and wiser enough. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't see the entire screen. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh my goodness! One thing I hate about this. We're going to have to go all the way around. Affirmative. Oh, Medic reporting. It's a long way back. I think we can deal with the tanks. I don't know why they're like, low in health and stuff. I don't know why they let these things, you know, protect the bridge. I could just do it, you know. I'm not sure now. I won't. I won't risk it. I'm not sure if Tanya can go like above that, so I won't, I won't risk it. I forgot if, if that's even possible. Okay, we're gonna let the medic scout just a bit, just a bit. I don't think I should destroy that yet. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the cue to destroy the thing. Here we go. So there we go. That, that really helps. <laughs> Thanks for the hints, man. Here we go. Hmm, I guess this way is safer to knock out the uh, tanks. 
tank. Kamikaze. The thing is, if I destroy this bridge, oops, which I shouldn't just yet. Um, I'm guessing I should go here first. I want to be careful with this um, flame tower, but I don't think it can reach. So, I think Tanya can. The thing is, if I blow up these barrels, it's gonna knock out the. Uh... Are you serious? Hello? You just. Hello? 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 Did I have to go that fast? So yeah, um, unlike oh, oh, <laughs> unlike the uh, test of coil, um, there are only three structures here. Yeah, there are four. Unlike the uh, test of coil, oh my gosh. Um, the reason why I'm thinking so much is because if it's red, then you can't capture it immediately. What does the mission say again? What was the, uh, destroy all bridges, so... So I'm guessing, uh, oops. Let me f I guess that's it? I'm not sure if it's an instant capture. We're gonna get the uh, radar thingy. Okay, so that, that really helps. Um, us being able to see everything. Um, super, super, super helps, because the moment we destroy this bridge, I think tanks will come, so... Hmm... So you see the entire map. Even without power, though. Hmm. I'm not sure what you get if you get this, but I'd rather have this in the sub pin. I'm not sure sure. We do have money. It's like, spent for it. Hmm. But I mean like... What for, really? Screw it, we're doing it. Oh, now I remember. If you capture without enough power, then yeah, it's not gonna move. Or it is, but it's gonna be super, 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 super duper slow. So we're just gonna finish the mission. Move in this way, and destroy that, and destroy that. We're gonna go up here and win the map. Then a phone. So I have to be careful here because Tanya could go back and it'll be a trouble crossing this. So this transport could be useful in case that happens. But what I'm gonna do, and I do this a lot, we're gonna click here and click here so that just so Tanya comes back. Something like that. There we go. So, transport not so needed. Would be nice though. So, is something supposed to happen here? Aside from, you know, getting back up here. I I'm sorry, I can't see everything. It's really my fault. Oh my gosh. So, I guess that's what the medic is for in case you make a mistake. So, there we go. Ooh, the grenadiers are like hot. So we're gonna let the medic cross first. Yes, sir. Affirmative. And we're gonna. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Let's rock. I'm there. Let's see. There we go. Ooh, that was super. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Destroy the bridge, destroy the bridge! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't want to start over. <laughs> Seriously though? Yeah, I'm not doing this again. And I'm not doing this again. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed um Red Lord 3. Red Lord 3, Red Lord. Yeah. So let's make it move there. I have no idea what that thing is. Oh yeah, it's the health health thing. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to show your support to the channel, and see you in the next video. So that what happens. I'm stupid. <laughs> I usually click the upper one, so that's why I have no idea what happens in the never mind, whatever. It's it's done. Hey, that's not how it happened. It was Tanya who destroyed the thing. <laughs> this is the funny part. Ah. Oh. <laughs>